Let's talk chainsaws. In this video, we are going to be looking at the Works battery powered chainsaw. I purchased this off of Amazon for about $200 and that came with both sets of batteries, a blade guard, etc. This is Jeff with Jeff Reviews for You. My channel is dedicated to reviewing mostly as seen on TV items. I look at some consumer gadgets, other household items. Once in a while, I do a little bit of a DIY just because I like to. If that interests you, I would love it if you would subscribe to my channel and click the bell below. That way, you're notified every time I release a video just like this one. Oh yeah, one more thing. Don't forget to check down the description for my social media, Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter, and newly TikTok. I would love it if you would follow me there too. Now, let's take a closer look in this battery-powered chainsaw to see what kind of things we can cut through. I'm gonna put some of the bar oil in. So I don't have the batteries on. I'm gonna turn this on its side. Let's turn it this direction. Here's where the bar oil goes. It's just real simple, unscrew this cap. I always, always, always have a paper towel nearby because I tend to spill, but we'll see how it goes here. All right, so the directions say you're supposed to fill it up but not to overflow it. So I didn't quite get into the spot where the threading goes. Hopefully that's enough. And you know what? I didn't spill that time. That's pretty impressive. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to hook the batteries in and test this thing out. So both of these batteries have fully charged. They took under two hours to charge um, in their double pack. But as, I, as you can see, they're all green here. Um, if I were to do the battery light indicator, they're all green there. So this is a full battery. I've got my oil in. So now I'm going to take off the cover here and just, I'm going to start with some small things and we'll gradually increase the size of the logs that we're cutting. The directions do tell you to wear eye protection. They tell you to wear gloves. They even tell you to wear ear protection. Um, I'll be wearing that. I just want to make sure you knew that. I want to show you a a cool thing if you don't know how to uh, if you've never worked a chainsaw before there's this protector bar right here where to be honest with you if you don't have this thing latched in this won't even work so you have this thing latched in back and so if i'm cutting it's going to get a little loud it works right but if i'm sawing into a piece of wood and maybe it bites back at me and what that means is it throws your uh, chainsaw back up watch what happens it immediately locks it into place, and I really think that's cool. So on the side, I have my um, chain tensioner or tightener. So if I go to the right, it tightens it down. If I go to the left, it loosens it up. But it's a pretty cool feature. Let's go check this out. I will get gradually different in size the pieces of wood that I'm going to cut. I'm going to start with some small pieces and move on up to larger ones. I will say that the directions say do not let the blade make contact with the ground. Let's get to this. My chain just popped off. I think I might have hit something. Let me put that back on. Okay, so the chain is back on. Let's try that again. I also realized that I didn't put my ear protection on, and to be honest with you, it wasn't that loud. But I do have them on now, and so I'm going to see if there's a difference. I mean, of course there's going to be, but when I used it before, it was not very loud, but I do have them on now. Sadly, my chain popped off again. One of the most consistent issues that I've had to do is putting the chain back on. So what I've done is I've removed my batteries. I'm going to turn this to the side. Unscrew right here where the chain guard is. Takes a little bit of time. All right, so now what I do is I end up taking this whole thing off. Make sure when you put it back on, you have the chain in the right order, the right direction, I should say. Always have your bits going forward. So I just clean this off. I think when I'm cutting through these little tiny pieces of brush, 
the chain, it, the motor is just not strong enough and it hits it, hits it, hits it, and then there's just too much of it and so it knocks it off. I have cut some, oop, there goes my camera. I have cut some bigger pieces that um, this thing just saws right through, but these little tiny brush pieces, it is having difficulty with. As I put the chain on, I actually get the bar here ready and just start spinning it here on the bar. I find that this is easier than trying to assemble it down on the um, chainsaw itself. So just get this to go all the way around. That's why it's important you wear gloves because these are sharp. So here we go, all the way around. All right, now I'm gonna stick this around here. Put it over top of my bolt. It's important to hold no. this tight as you are putting on your guard again. So as I'm screwing this back on now, I'm, I'm putting tension right here on the bar, holding it straight and tight. Then I can slap that back down and ready to work. All right, so it's holding up better. I'm gonna continue cleaning this up and I'll bring you back to video. It took the better part of the day and the help from a push lawnmower, but I was able to trim up all of those little shoots and branches and tree pieces that were growing up out of the ground. And check this out. A few months ago, I actually had this branch fall in a storm and I was able to take the works chainsaw and lop that entire thing off. I will say that used up almost the entire battery just itself fully charged lopped it off it took me about 20 minutes so it's not meant for things like that but it actually did it but if i'm looking here all the way around it did a great job trimming up all these pieces now that i have used these batteries and they're both on just one green light so we're going to slide this into my double charger see how that green light lit up there slide this one in I'm gonna let them charge back up again and get back to work. So what do you think so far of the Works battery power chainsaw? I should say, I referenced it earlier, but this um, chainsaw requires both of these 20 volt batteries. But what do you think of the interchangeable series of Works products? Does that sound cool to you? To me, it sounds really cool. You have drills and weed whackers. I even think they have lawnmowers. All use the same battery. Anyway, let me know down in the comment section below. I would love to hear from you. Now, let's get back to cutting some more trees. I've taken care of a lot of brush. I'm actually out of different trees than the first tree I tried out, but I've gotten a lot of one inch branches, two inch branches. What I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna cut some of the dead away out of this tree. This branch right here is dead, so I'm gonna cut it in a couple different spots and then we'll see how this little saw does. That's a pretty sizable log that this just cut through and it did a pretty good job. 
All right, so my total cutting time has just been about an hour and 10 minutes. I've spent the bulk of my time here on this tree and the branches are pretty significant in size. I'm really just trying to trim this thing up. It's gone through years of neglect and I really do like this saw. It's doing a great job. I like the weight of it. And you know what? I like when I cut and I end, the noise is over and that's pretty convenient. I will say after just over an hour, I'm to the point where, well, you can see my battery level. I can't cut anymore. I was actually trying to cut a few more branches, but it's done. So now I'm gonna go and recharge these batteries so I can get back to work. In this video, we are looking at the Works 40 volt battery powered chainsaw. And like I said earlier, this came with both of these batteries for about $200, but they do have an option that does not include any batteries. And I think it was like 130 bucks or something like that. So if you already have batteries, there you go. You got a cheaper chainsaw. What do I think of this chainsaw? Well. Is this for the lumberjack person now always cutting trees? Absolutely not. This is just, it would be a disappointment. Um, but for someone just trimming trees around their house like I was, absolutely. It was convenient. Ran for an hour, a little over an hour, charged it up, ran it again. No real problem. I was impressed that anything I needed it to cut through, it was able to cut through. I will say some of that brush that I was trying to cut through earlier where the um, chain kept popping off, that may have been better for like, I don't know, a hedge trimmer or whatnot. Um, and maybe the, because the motor isn't that powerful, it kept getting stopped and stalled and it popped the chain off. But once I started clearing away the little things, the bigger ones just got lopped off. Plus I went from bigger size tree trunks to bigger size tree, and then a huge one. And it really worked every single time. I will say I've run this battery dead or the sets about about a dozen times and then it charges right back up and i get right back to work i've used it for a little while and i've been impressed with it thus far as i continue using it i will link um updates down in the description if this interests you i will post a link down in the description as well this is jeff with jeff reviews for you as always thanks for stopping by and i hope you have a great day I was able to give the Christmas tree a fresh cut. That's pretty sweet. I really do appreciate that you stayed around for my entire review of the Works battery powered chainsaw. You know what? Not that long ago, I actually did a review of something called the coldest water bottle where I, I reviewed the coldest water bottle and I compared it to some of its competitors. And to be honest with you, well, I'll let you see the video. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna link that video right up here. And I would love it if you would check on this review. And by the magic of the internet, when you click this link, I'm gonna join you at that review. So go ahead, click it, it's safe, I promise. And you know what? They make great gifts.